Okay. As you can see, I have a Stanley steamer. So, this has nothing to do with the video. Does a Stanley steamer make me feel like I'm that girl? Hmm. No. It just makes me feel like I have ice cold refreshing water. Listen to me. But anyway, this video is just going to be about um, things I'm doing this year that aren't necessarily new, but habits I'm trying to implement. Um, so yeah, let's get started. Also, it's dinner time, so I'll show y'all what I'm having. Mm-hmm. And pole. Um, I'm gonna try to eat, but I got like stuff to grab. So if you hear a little crunching and munching, it won't be the first time. I think I like the camera back further than this, but it's like I'm gonna have to hunch for my food. But we're gonna do a little eating, a little eating. I'm gonna put a little bit because sometimes I'm not gonna lie about it. This um vinaigrette depending on what day you go who back there mixing it can be salty and i don't like that all right give a little asmr this is really hurting my back i, I i'm gonna have to hold the bowl, the bowl up i mean i cannot do the slouch oh there we go Mm. Okay. Vinaigrette is on point tonight. I have a steak bowl. No black beans. If you know the video, you'll get the reference. Things DC girls say it was from a zillion years ago. But yes, I have a steak bowl, extra corn, extra salsa, whatever it is, and extra sour cream. I love it. And what else is in here? Rice. Yeah. Well. Not duh, because everybody don't get rice. But look at me trying to do the slouch thing again. This because my little ottoman thing is not tall enough for me. So, this is how we're going to have to do it. I don't even know where to look, but right now I don't think I'm looking straight. But it looks like I'm looking over there. But if I look right there, I don't know. I don't know. Still say, whatever. Um, but yes. Today I'm gonna just be going over. I might already said this, but <laughs> today I'm gonna be going over things that I've been doing a part of my daily schedule. I, one thing I was trying to give Bandana Jewel Santana. But it keeps sliding back. So, if we get to getting back here, y'all let me know. <laughs> but, yes, look at how I get it out. I'm going over some things I've added to my daily routine or, you know, just habits to do. Some I've done before, but I'm going to see it through this year. So, that's what we'll be chit chatting about today. Ooh. When I say my back is aching, honey, off of this bite, off of this ASMR. Mm -mm. Mm. 
Okay. Let me stop playing. Let's get to it. All right, there we go. Um, but yes. So one of the first goals that I have for myself for this year, of course, top goal, the goal, is to get closer to the Lord, get closer to God, have that same goal all the time and allow distractions to keep me distracted. You know, I talk to him, but I, I want to really like get intimate with him, get to know him on another level, dedicate time for him. That was my number one thing on my list. So, um, a way I'm doing that, I'm going to show y'all what I have. Okay, hold on. Just got all my pens and stuff in it. All right, so of course, got a Bible. I already had a Bible, but I got a different version. But I just got this like Bible case from this like little discount store that we have. And the Bible. So I had the New King James Version. And nothing was really wrong with it. I just wanted another. Like when I start something new or something like that, I want everything new. Everything new. So I just wanted to get something else. Um, but yeah, it comes with a little. Hold on. It comes with a little pocket pouch on each side. You can hold your pens. I think my pens are too big, but I'm, I'm going to actually try it out right now. Well, this one not because it's a skinny one. And then, let's see. Let's, oh, this one's really square. Is it going to? Okay. Nope, it's getting caught up. But anyway, you know what you can do with a pen holder. You can put pens in there. Um, I just use the Mr. Pen Black Multiliner Tiny Little. Do I have it upside down? Can you see it? Yeah, little pen. Very fine tip. Oh, what y'all be doing? <laughs> um, yes, doesn't smear. And then the pens I like to use are the Bic Gelosity pens. I love these. Okay, as I was saying, I use these two um, Gelosity pens um, from <laughs> Bic. Yes, Bic Gelosity pens. I use that and I got one of the she reads truth bibles which is the oh one of my little tabs which is the christian ooh, that was heavy standard bible um very nice bible it's a um what is this called that's like a softback instead of the hardback oh sorry y'all my leg is locking up under here and right now I am in Leviticus, which is a big feat for me because I never finish Exodus. It's like Genesis, part of Exodus, and your girl don't never make it past. But I'm going to this year. And what is also helping me, not only because I just want to do it and accomplish it, is... Let me see. Where did it go? Oh, right here. So... This is my like study Bible study journal by Shaniqua Statton. And it's Girl Read Your Bible. Really big, very sturdy. Um, so like basically you have so I'm gonna show you what I feel that I'm not the best. Well, I'm the type of note taker. I'm like, oh my God, this is so important. Everything is so important. So don't judge me, but this is how my notes look. All right. And each page has room for six chapters. And I'm going to show y'all. Uh, I'm going to go to um, numbers. So this is how it starts. You get the page, and you can do a summary, your thoughts, a key verse, um, when you started it, when you finish. I don't know why. I've, I've been skipping that part. I don't know. I've been like, I just want to get it done. And, you know, read it. Like, I'd be forgetting when I started. And then the details of the book. Um, and the, it's the date, author, theme, and location. And then 
you have like chapter one, two, three, four, five, six. And I just draw a line straight across. I was doing it this way, but I found this way is better. Yes, this is <laughs> how I've been storing everything when I read my Bible each chapter that I like read along I take my notes but I use the holy bible app and I'll insert a picture on my phone where they like read it to you so it's like saying you know because some of these words I don't understand I or not I, well yeah some of the words I don't understand but I also don't know how to pronounce so that's very beneficial and this bible I like um because it has the notes um at the bottom to tell you what some stuff is and then they have space on the side so if it's something that sticks out to me i highlight it and i write like my own prayer about it or just a note or um rewriting it but inserting me and my family in it i do that like i can show you i don't think one let me see all right let me see Where did it? I put one. I'm trying to find one where I wrote. Oh, this is when the Lord is speaking to Moses and he says, look, I have appointed um, you by name. And I was just like, oh, I have to highlight that because thank you, Lord. You know my name and my family's name and have filled us with your spirit, wisdom, understanding. Just put something like that, but insert you know, me, my family in the place of the same thing he already said to whomever he's speaking to. Like he's speaking to us, but you know what I mean. Whomever he's speaking to at that time in the word is what I do basically. So just highlight it and then put my little you know, writing right there. So yeah, because I want to make it my own. But that's one thing that I've been doing and we'll get to the next. Now that I don't have all that stuff, I'm a little bit close. So, the, hold on, water break. I know they say cold water is not, like, good for you, but I love my water cold. When it's, like, too hot, it's, like, gives me stale water. All right, so anyway, <laughs> before I go on and on and on about stale water. Um, the, another thing I wanted to do was read 12 books this year. So one book a month, 12 books. I just wanted to read them, um, at least. So, you know, get my mind going, give me something to do other than the phone. Um, so I bought 12 books, a little over 12 books, um, for the year. And I'll show you the ones that I have. Some I just saw on TikTok, some I just saw in the store. So, look, who's doing it? I mean, at this point, I don't know if this is going to work. I'll be back. Bandana free. Moving on. All right, so this book, I remember I just saw it at the um, Dollar Tree, and it's supposed to be like a thriller, suspense. Um, it's called Before She Knew Him by... Peter Swanson. I don't know him, but I just got it because it sounded interesting. Um, it's about this couple that just moved and let me see. The wife thinks that she's seen a murder. So she's trying to, I guess, convince everyone. And they don't know, is it like, oh, did she really see a murder? Or is it one of her psychotic episodes? But this reminds me of the movie that was on Netflix. So I'm like, I haven't started reading this one yet. But I'm like, is this? But it was called something else. If I can find it or remember it, I'm going to insert what I'm talking about. And it it sounds the same. It sounds exactly the same. Um, next, I have this book. This is random. I just found it on... Um, Amazon Search and Self Help. Um, it's by Valera Wilson. I hope I'm saying it right, but it's a picture of her, so y'all may know her. Um, it's called You're Absolutely Worth It. Release self doubt, embrace confidence, and own your yes. That's something I need to work on. I doubt myself, and 
you know, I'm not the most confident. And that's what I want to work on. So, I got it. And yeah, so, but this is the book. That one. And then, make some room so I can put them over there. This one. Ooh, honey. I had to get this one. I, I got a lot of, um, you, you'll see where I'm going with this. Uh, this one's by Lisa Turkhurst. Um, it's a number one New York bestseller. And it's called Forgiving What You Can't Forget, Discover How to Move On, Make Peace with Painful Memories, and Create a Life That's Beautiful Again. Yes. Um, one thing about me, the past is like in my head. It just is there. Not all the time, but you know, it comes up. So I want to like really heal and move on. So I thought this would be a good book for me to read. And I did see this one on... Um, TikTok. Um, next, The Body Keeps Score, Brain, Mind, and Body in the Healing of Trauma. And let's see. It's supposed to transform your understanding of trauma and offers a bold new, new way of healing trying to see if it was giving me any other details but i haven't started this one um yet either but i think it will be helpful um then i also got this book by did i show the book i can't remember yeah then i also got this book by paris woods the black girl's guide to financial freedom built well what build what <laughs> build wealth check retire early <laughs> check check and live the life of your dreams yes lord um so that's what this book is about and it says in the book you will learn to build generational wealth we all trying to do that especially my people okay um avoid common financial traps earn your next degree debt free for those who are trying to go to school i am not but it's still beneficial I have no desire to go back to school for nothing. Um, achieve financial independence and retire early. Amen. And design a dream life you can start living today. Okay, girl. You got some promises. Now, um, the next one is It Didn't Start With You. How Inherited Family Trauma Shapes Who We Are and How to End the Cycle. Seeing a theme here, traumas, past, I'm trying to heal and move forward. And I'm like, you know, of course, with that prayer, that Lord, and that Bible, yes. But also going to read some of these. Um, let's see. It touches, touches base on depression, anxiety, chronic pain, phobias, obsessive thoughts. Hmm. But yeah. That's that one. And next, I have um, The Seven Husbands of Evelyn Hugo. I just wanted to give me something a little, you know, spicy to read, I guess. I don't know if this is, like, necessarily a spicy book. And I don't even mean, like, sex. I just mean, like, you know, real housewives in a book something <laughs> but yeah so i just saw this one on tiktok too and well no i saw it on target and then i saw it i looked you know a review on tiktok so i was like oh i get it i saw a couple you know good reviews for that then i got this one i'm excited for this one too before i let go and it says it's a scorching novel about hope and healing and what it truly means to love for a lifetime. Mm. So, yes, I'm very excited to read this one as well. I'm excited to read them all. Your girl's trying to use her brain more. All right, and then next, I have um, The Mountain Is You, Transforming Self-Sabotage into Self-Mastery. This is by Brianna West. West. Um, 
the ultimate seeker's guide for those brave enough to face their true north and take their power back. Okay? And it's about self-sabotage, basically. And I think everybody has encountered that. When we, you know, doubt ourselves or don't believe we can do things or scared to see what's on the other side of saying yes to something or going for it. And that is something I deal with. Um, but yes, her books come great. I ordered on Amazon it's another one, um, a pool in a second. But her books come like wrapped in this plastic, like very protected when you order on Amazon. So it came in tip top shape. And I'm excited to read this one as well. Um, I picked this one up from Five Below. I just saw it there and I've heard great things about it but never read it. The Four Agreements. Y'all all probably have seen this now, but for $5, can't beat it. Going to read it and see about it. Any Anything that'll help me change my state of mind, put me in a positive place, that's where I'm at. So, yes, that's that one. This one, Seven Days in June. You know I'm going to read this in the month of June. <laughs> okay? But, yes, I've heard great, great, great reviews about this um smart sexy i absolutely loved it that's somebody's review a beautiful ode to black joy i know that's right and let's see what else they got saying it oh they just got little like the people's praises for it um it's a read as sultry as a summer heat full of wit warmth and passion so yeah it's following eva mercy and shane hall so, I can't wait to get into this one. All right. My mom is calling me and she's about to wait a second. All right. So, this one is When You're Ready, This Is How You Heal. Um, 101 Essays That Will Change the Way You Think. Also by Brianna West. West. Um, healing is not a one-time event. It had, I like filled this book with sticky, 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 stickies. This was the... Ooh lord y'all my leg again this was the first book i read so this was my book for january and let me see i'm trying to find like a good little piece that i thought about because it was it was a lot of nice nice things to live live by Oh, this is a good one. Um, you have to start making decisions for your life, not your parents' life, not your friends' lives, not your partner's life, um, not your peers' lives. Do it for you, basically. Do it for you. Um, I'm trying to see if it's another one. Oh, this is me too. Uh, stop thinking that the worst possible outcome is you making the wrong choice. Uh, yes I always be like oh this is the right thing and then i halt and then i stop and nothing happens because i'm like did i make the right decision i gotta stop doing that and then the last one stop downplaying your dreams oh lord jesus honey i'm a big dreamer i have a big imagination i'm very creative uh, my mind is like spongebob like when he see all the rainbows all that stuff that's my mind i i come up with ideas per minute I don't even know if that sounds fast, but you know what I'm saying. Very creative. And, um, yeah, I'll be like, I can see this happening. Like, God will show it to me. I can envision it. Then your girl gets scared. Then I say, well, maybe I need to scale it back a bit. Because, like, who am I to think I can dream this big and this can happen? But who am I? I'm me. It can happen. So... Yes, and the book I'm reading for this month of February, I got a little bit left to read before March 1st, um, is The Psychology of Money. Now, I got this book, honestly, I'm going to be honest. I got this book because I thought it was like talking to the commoner. Um, the book does have some things to take away for the commoner, um, but it's a lot of investment talk. It's a lot of talk about who these big investors are, people I don't know, and you know, sometimes it's giving me a headache. 
because I don't know what he's talking about. But I'm going to follow through and I'm going to read it. But if you're into that, I recommend it for you. Is it my favorite? No. Um, so, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> that's just me but shout out to the author okay he's helping somebody but that's it for my books but those are the books i have for the year and i'm gonna read um if y'all have any book recommendations let me know i do want to read um kadeen and Duvall. i hope i'm not saying their names wrong you know the boy from um what's his name zatima zach i want to read their book we over me that like just recently came out and then there's another book by the author it's in my amazon i'll have to post a picture but another book by her if i'm not mistaken no it's, it's not her i'm sorry it's another one by the the june the teal Williams, i think i'm so confused it's by one of these incredible black authors and i'll post that one My phone is sitting on my <laughs> sitting on my computer. And I didn't hit the space bar like I'm pausing a YouTube video. Lord help me. Okay. Next, I wanted to journal daily like a prompt. So instead of buying one, I just got one. I ordered this around Christmas from Coco Michelle. She has a beautiful, beautiful black art quality notebook. Um, I ordered from her. It's just like a simple line journal. But I use it and I just find random prompts and um, write the title. Like oh, my one for tomorrow is what made me happy as a child. I just write it here. Then I have that space to write there. And yeah. And I love this because it says worthy. I am worthy. As corny as it may sound, you got to say it to yourself. Always use these, but like some of these things I do, but again, this is just how I'm trying to incorporate um, into my daily routine and be consistent with it. Um, I love planners too, stationery. Ugh, don't get me started. Don't get me started. But this year I went for a smaller planner, something I can just manage, take with me on the go. Last year I had a bigger planner and it was beautiful, but it was like hard for me to just take with me if I want to, you know, carry it with me. It was just too big for me um, at this time, but beautiful. Um, but yes, also I will shout them out again. Look at me, shout them out like I got a million followers. I might one day. Um, but the bookstore, it's like a black owned luxury planner business. Beautiful, beautiful planners beautiful gowns um but yes this year though i got a planner from erin condren and i love that you can personalize it so you know i got my name down on the bottom and um i got this design Let's see like rose gold and i got a soft bound and it comes with a ribbon bookmark and also in these i like plan my month or if i have dates you know birthdays family time date nights and all of that um and work stuff i put all in here and then every day just like this i just try to write a, like something like a gratitude thing what i'm grateful for in here so i'll show you like i just did march and these stickers are from the Bloom Planner. They have really cute stickers. I like theirs. But yeah, I just put the stickers here. And then I'm going to go in and fill in my important dates for it there. And then after that page, you get like one of these. So I put like a prayer here. And then here I just put like a quote, a note to me, or a verse. And then here what did i put here last time let me see because i had started january with something and then i think i did something different for february so january i put my currently like listening to watching reading but for february i put 
a brain dump. And that's what I want to leave it as, that big open space, a brain dump. And then down in the grid, I had wrote another prayer, another prayer. And then here, I put a checklist of the four things I want to do. So, yeah. And then I just, this was February. And then this was January. And this page was supposed to be like something for every month, but I don't know what I will use that for. I might just use it for being that we're going into the third month, just goals that I have and or just verses maybe. Um, but something. But yeah, that's what I've been using as well. And last, oh no, yes, I thought I left it upstairs, but I have a pouch that goes with the planner as well that just slides right on it to store all my like pens and all of that. So cute, isn't it? Um, I just keep a few little pens in there and highlighters, the basically the colors of the Gelocity pens that's what's in there. So, yes. That's that. And then I also made me a, um, what you call it, planner, a financial planner. And yes, it's like a check on the front. And then um, I have like my prayer for my finances, my plan. I have my um and i need to start coloring but i have like my emergency fund and like just savings trackers and christmas tracker and debt trackers and then i have for each month um let me go to march so this blank We're gonna skip right past March, honey. Oh, daddy. <laughs> anyway, um, so I just have these. I cut out, and then I write down my pay dates and what I got. And then I wrote a page for expense tracker, but I don't use that. But maybe I'll I'll try this month to like track down everything I wrote because mostly I write it on the other page, which is like my check breakdown. So yeah. And then, yeah, that's what I have. I think that's it. Yeah, I have, like, all the months. Um, and when I get paid those months. And this is May, just showing. A couple stickers, little this, little that. So, yes. Um, so yeah, that's it. Um, if, I don't know about how to post links and all of that. But if you are interested, comment. And I can tell you exactly what it was or where I got it from or maybe I'll list it in the bio the list of the books at least and then yeah but I am signing out that is it that is all <laughs> yes it's a risky signing out I keep saying signing out I'm tired I don't know if anyone can tell but I'm sleepy and I'm about to go upstairs and put this child to bed and go let the tv watch me so good night or whatever it is when i post this <laughs>